who was the father of india's green revolution he was the renowned agriculture scientist dr m s swaminathan who passed away at his residence in chennai on 28th of september 23 following age related issues at the age of 98 years he led india's green revolution and pushed for recognition of india's women farmers so mankombu sambavishan swaminathan was born to mk sambasivan a surgeon and parvati thangamallan in kumbakam in the then madras presidency on 7th august 1925 he had a keen interest in agriculture farming and also moved by the plight of the farmers he completed his bachelor of science degree in agricultural science from madras university in 1944 then having witnessed the bengal famine of 1945 swaminathan dedicated his life for improving india's farming methods to battle food shortage after independence he joined the indian agricultural research institute in new delhi to basically focus on plant genetics and breeding he further specialized in cytogenetics to help crop improvement gaining a postgraduate degree in it he then specialized in the genus solanum of the potato and after earning his doctorate he then set up the us government's potato research station as part of his post doctoral research a year later he completed his research and moved back to india rejoining the iari as a young iari scientist he worked with dr norman bolger to develop mexican dwarf variety of wheat which could give high levels of grain and develop stronger stock structures to support the increased biomass continuing his research with dr borag on various wheat varieties dr swaminathan modified grains in the laboratory to better suit the indian soil thus giving a higher yield which was free of investations he then convinced farmers mainly in india's rural northern belt that is punjab haryana and uttar pradesh to set up small demonstration and test plots which could cultivate these genetically modified wheat varieties working with the then union ministers c subramaniam and jagjivan ram dr swaminathan pioneered the green revolution tripling the wheat harvest in the first year itself which was phenomenal in total the wheat harvest jumped from 12 million to 23 million in four crop seasons and apart from the higher yields dr swaminathan's work with the farmers assured the india's golden age in farming technology thus transforming our nation from a begging bowl to the bread basket of the world as this green revolution spread up, farmers across the nation began employing better irrigation methods cross breeding in wheat crops and using higher quality of fertilizers thus making india self sufficient and ending its dependency on green imports we were basically dependent on the us for wheat and 
later on in 2007 after being nominated by our erstwhile president dr apj abdul kalam he was nominated to the rajya sabha and he presented the women farmers entitlement bill in 2011 this was basically to increase the women's role in farming due to the gradual migration of male farmers to cities in search of employment this bill sought to address the concerns of the women farmers regarding land titles access to credit insurance technology and consumer markets through his life dr swaminathan received multiple international accolades like the raman magase award in 1971 the albert einstein world science award in 1986 the unep saswa environmental prize in 1984 UNESCO Gandhi Gold Medal in 1999 the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace Disarmament and Development in 1999 the Franklin D Roosevelt Four Freedoms Award in 2000 and these are a few international accords way back in India he received national titles like the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award the Indira Gandhi Prize for all civilian awards like the padma shri in 1967 padma bhushan in 1972 the padma bhushan in 1989 and he was conferred upon over 80 honorary doctorates from various universities across the world and multiple civilian awards from nations like philippines france cambodia and china he is also a fellow in several scientific academies in russia sweden united states united kingdom italy china and bangladesh so to know more about such great people please comment and do not forget to subscribe chai hind